Hello, this is Will here doing my 2014-15 ELA project for um, in Minecraft for the boy who harnessed the wind is being point the perspective of William in uh, the world uh, I'm going to be playing around in. So you can see the uh, little plants and stuff. Um, it's the these are the maize fields and the tobacco fields. So you can go around and pick that. It's combo. So here is you go out onto the road. See, there's a little tent up ahead. That little tent is a trading center. As you can see, there are many places to trade. You can see the money that they're earning, as well as William's mother, who makes cakes. So, makes quite a bit of money. There's Nizma, Maze, lots of other stuff. There's a dog. Combo will follow me around everywhere I go. As you can see, over here is Chayamba, which is much better school than most of the others because they have a lot of government money to spend. They have actual seats for each student. Nice teacher's best. While Kasingi, other ones, do not receive quite a bit of money, I don't know about the others, but do not have as nice things for the students. Kach Kachkolo, which is where William, Gilbert, and some other guys go. It's not very nice at all. As you can see, where they receive little money from the government, they're using a little wall in between, and the teacher's desk is very sloppy and stuff. Down here is the library. Where William gets his books. books, checks them out at the library, where he will then use to build many other things. This is Gilbert's house. As you can see, Gilbert's mom and dad, the chief, making Isma and money to help with William out there, to help as they have electricity. This is the local water well where people go to get their water. Town well. And over here, something sad is taking place. Uncle John has passed away with us today. As you can see, the grave of... And over here is Jeffrey's house, which during the famine uh, is very poor, does not have much money, or food. Over here, many others do not have roofs on their houses whatsoever. During the famine, many people believe that William's family is rich because they see the top, while they have no other food to spare. But the town, just because their mother makes cakes, Cakes are a lifesaver. Then one day, good news passes. A truck has been seen going to Chimama. William's mother forces him to go over there to get some maize for the family. Because he will 
Gorgia, one line from Lemon Lemon, Many People Drop Dead, from the band Spartan, Hunger, William manages to get to the front of the line, and there are only nine, one bag left, he's lucky enough to get his nose, and runs out the door. He receives many offerings from other people, bribes, saying, I'll give you 500, no, 600 quacha for that. The next person could have easily beaten him and robbed him. Take him all, nose. Well, now, during this famine, the trading center, the price of maize has gone up substantially. Many people start rioting they're killing our children what type of murder is setting these prices what the heck is going on here by then many murders are committed down the path to the maze mill as you can see the blood of many others who have had to be killed just for the greed of assassins Many people are giving up any possessions just for a little bit of maize. But of course, one day has to come. The day the combo must die. They tie him up and leave him there overnight. way back, it as his friends convince him. As he sleeps, the dog did not even bother to try and escape. He knew he was doomed. The dog had passed away. He was dry and weak. So they buried him. William at this time then began studying on how to kill Kamba due to the hunger and the famine at the time. But now he had begun studying at the library. Checking out books. Taking them back to his house. One of the most interesting ones had one with the windmill inside of it. And that give, gave him the idea and the title of giving the boy who harnessed the wind. An author would write this book. This is a windmill. Once he read that book, he then went down and started collecting all the junk that he could. Or a heap of junk around his room all the time, no matter what. His parents were worried, thought he might have been going insane because of all this stuff he had. Of course, the famine for the rest of the family was also just as bad. William looks, sees many of the others, bags all lying. note from her sister. Got married to the teacher. I'll be okay. This worried the parents, even though that it meant more another mouthful of Ms. Miller, right? It was not good. Fireworks were not helping either. The cakes were the things keeping them alive. William was going down trying to keep the stuff for his windmill that would give him the title, the boy who harnessed the wind. He would gather junk every day. Go down the same road every single day to try and find the best possible thing he could use to 
was good enough. Find your rank skin. That's really hard. Since most people were too weak to find it. Good to know. We would find a lot of great things. Plants, flowers, odors, whatever he could find. Most crazy stuff that he found. Rods, tools, sails, whatever he could find. He would bring it and he would use it and bring it back to his house. Of course, now his line is getting shorter. Now he's been standing between the new president who had been brought in. He had promised shoes, but had lied to the people. William is now doing his best. Heaps of piles everywhere. And eventually, he would build the windmill out of chicken. Chickens near him, the horse, he would eat those as well. The final windmill was done. It's been a long time, and he had tested it out. Sure enough, it had worked. Everything. He would set it up to power his whole house. Soon, his family wouldn't need him. Instead, look, now all of a sudden, all the lights would go on. All these things happening at once, then all of a sudden something tragic had happened. This was even worse than Uncle John's death. Doc Gilbert's father, the chief, said the man had passed away. Dead. Of course, just like Uncle John's death, many people had come outside singing songs of this world is not my home trying to help his friend out as his other friends had helped him out with the windmill. Others were asking everyone with this windmill as soon other troubles would be created. Like, oh no, this windmill is blowing the clouds away. We need rain to stop the famine. Gilbert, what are we going to do? Gilbert, it's blown away our wind. It's blown away our wind. What are we going to do? It's a sinner. It's not a sinner. I helped build it myself, he replied. Of course, one of the biggest ones was Jeffrey. No matter how poor his family was, he would always supply the help his family get through it, but not only that, supply the tools that William needed to help build his windmill as he went and do his friend's shop every day. Hi, I've come to build this. Ring, ring, ring. Right there. Jeffrey would always give him the money, no matter how poor his family was. Finally, one of the biggest days came when one professor rode over. He said, this windmill is amazing. He invited him over to his head talk, he would, where he would eventually fly over to a TED talk and become a very popular boy. teens and twenties. Even though that many things were breaking on his windmill, he was still very strong and was willing to always try and help. Even though that things would go wrong quite often. He 
would then be invited to a TED Talk over in the United States. This would be a turning point in his life.